Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the MIUI Mind Edition ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So guys, let's begin. So here is the about phone section design and as you can see it has been a bit changed going to the all specs this is the ui and the we get to see the android 12 version so here is the miui mind miui 13 mind edition beta version the security patch we get here is the first of august 2022 which is now a bit old and the kernel here is as usual the miui perf kernel now moving back to the settings this is the settings page and as you can see the animations it just looks great this is the home screen and this is the a quick look to the ui as you can see and this is the control center the miui 13 one this is the notification shade and as you can see the clock style here is a bit different now moving to the settings so first of all taking a look at uh, the system features uh, like uh, the wi-fi and everything here is always the, almost just the same the wallpaper and personalization here is just the same and we get to see the aod now and these are all the and these are all just the same aod customizations and if you want to see the online items this is all the available in the chinese one so as you can see this is how the always on display here is looking the new terraform cube so we can download the always on display uis from here in the from the theme store this is the chinese theme store available and as you can see this is a bug the home screen just got reloaded so yeah there are few there are lots of bugs present in this room which i'll show you later in the video so watch the video till the end so now moving forward to the always on display and lock screen these are the options the notification effect these are the options available the animation we can select so yeah now moving back the sleep activity raise to wake everything here is just the same the charging animation these are the three available but we also get to see the other charging animations lock screen format these are the format but in the customizations we get to see this clock format which is like the one plus like the oxygen os one the display charging animation launch camera access then the notification and everything these are just the typical miui features available here now apart from these features whole lot of customizations available in this room which is the mind lab and this is the ui and in the modes these are the options available in the mind lab first of all taking a look at the misc modes the mind lab style which i had kept to minimal and when you switch to accent this is the mind lab style okay this is the mind labs ui it has changed so these are all the other uis available the static accent minimal and dynamic i was currently set to accent you can try it rome try this rome to check out each and everyone the theme app server we can change to indonesia india russia spain and china so then in the aosp modes these are the options the status bar modes and the uh, unlimited status bar icons the clock background chip show month and date in clock these are the options available the signal data text whatever we want 4g 5g and also option available but then in the lock screen modes these are the options we get to see the power menu access charging ampere these are these are the clock styles available i have already shown you the one plus now let's just show you the ios one and this is how the ios okay we need to so after you select the option here we need to click on apply here to restart the intents now it will apply the ios clock style on the lock screen let's just see so as you can see this is how it looks two screen of animation these are all the screen of animations available so as you can see this is the vertical screen of animation this is how it looks so yeah now to moving forward to the icon and style these are the options the signal icons just like the custom rooms these are all the signal icons available then the battery icons which i have set to ios style and as you can see it just looking the, like the ios it's great then the wi-fi icons these are all the wi-fi icons available the voltage icons the charging animation these are the charging animations available these are all the volume panels and this is what i have set to and this is how it looks so these are all the customizations available the navbar style these are the navbar styles available 
so there are whole lot of customizations available in this rom then in the control center these are the control center options available then the old control center new control center we can customize it from here the notification blur and everything then in the music modes the music management fit to scaling the the album art on lock screen these are the options available in the music modes the mind activities here are some activities the default apps these are the options the status bar tuner option here is available now the extra dim option here is available which works perfectly no issues and we can set the intensity from here then the band mode this is something new and as you can see you can select the bands the LTE bands on which you want to go so yeah these are all the bands available and we can select it ignore accidental touch on the edges this is the option available and which is very useful for gamers yeah this which is available multiple users you can turn it on from here the notification log these are this is the notification log as you can see the whole notification log which is a cool feature then the notifications options the notification settings the screen saver the web view implementation so these were all the options available for the me i lab okay now we get to see the settings styles these are the options for the setting style the list view animation which i have changed to this as you can see this is how the list view animation is looking currently so yeah we can change the list view animation from here there are a lot of animation styles available as you can see scroll animation these are the animations and the settings app in on which app we want the list view animation so yeah the dialer modes option here is available then the power menu modes this is the power menu how it is looking as you can see we can change the power menu to old power menu the portrait mode landscape mode we can set the image but i am not able to set it's a bug present then the notification bar and control center background we can set the background image and everything which just looks silly as you can see this is the background image it comes automatically so yeah it is not so that cool feature so these were the customizations on the miui mind edition rom and going to the home screen as you can see it just again reloaded so this is a bug from which i am fed up now talking about the widgets here in the widgets this is the ui and as you can see but it's of no use this widgets page is useless because i am not able to add the widgets as you can see now i cannot take i cannot click on right and when i click back the widget will be gone so i am not able to add any widgets and even if the there is add button but it's not working so the widgets on this rom are not working sometimes it was it works sometimes it just won't to work i don't know what kind of bug it is so widgets are an issue the control center here is the ui everything it's working fine and we also get to see the extra dim toggle here now this is the notification shade now talking about the performance the performance on this rom here is literally very bad you will get fed up using as you can see the lag in the app drawer the app drawer just won't work at 120 hertz it works only at 60 hertz and it's looking very bad the app drawer is laggy the whole ui here is very laggy and so this you can use it as a daily driver if you want all these features i think because of these customizations the rom has got very heavy and because of that you we are getting a laggy performance i don't recommend you use it as a daily driver now talking about the safety net status okay the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps everything here is running perfectly fine no issues with the safety net status it's working great and there is no need to do a geekbench test because uh, i am already fed up using this rom the overall performance is not good so even if the scores are better it's of no use because the rom here is not performing well so yeah and talking about the drm info we get to see the wide vinyl one security level and everything works fine full hd playback here is working great no issues with the drm info also so yeah overall this rom here is pretty great according pretty great according to the feature wise but for daily usage it's really not that good the rom here is laggy 
performance is not that great animations are lagging a lot so yeah i suggest you not to use it as a daily driver because the room here is lagging a lot and you will get tired of using it so instead just flash another any other room it's just review point of my side you can if you want to try you can try it so yeah that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye